From KPRC Channel 2, this is Houston Newsmakers with Cambrell Marshall. Reading is a critical part of early childhood development. It's a fact. But did you know that only one out of 300 kids living in low-income homes has a book at home? And that is one of the reasons our next guest is passionate about the cause. Jackie Daltrey, the executive director of the nonprofit organization called Making It Better. What is Making It Better? Well, as you said, we're a nonprofit organization, and our primary first and foremost goal is getting kids to be able to read on grade level by the end of third grade. Mm -hmm. That is, study after study has shown that that is a critical milestone for children to measure their success later in life. That whole process, you're right, improving literacy, uh, do you do focus more on underserved elementary schools to do this, or all elementary schools? We definitely do focus on the underserved. All of our, our partner schools, they're all in Houston ISD, and they're all Title I schools, and all of the children that we serve are underserved, low-income children mm -hmm. that without um, access to the services that we provide, um, wouldn't have access to those services. The schools do a great job, but they have a really heavy lift mm -hmm. when you consider that 60% testing shows that 60% of Houston area kindergartners are not reading ready when they walk in the door. And when you talk about services, what kind, what does that look like? Did you just have volunteers who come in and work with children? How does that uh, how does that come out when you say provide services to the kids and whatnot? What does that look like? Well, we actually have a wonderful staff, a paid staff of um, primarily uh, certified teachers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually have five retired HISD teachers on our paid staff. Um, love the children, but just wanted a little bit of a change. And so we work with very small groups, four children to one tutor. So they get that really very specialized, intensive intervention that's tailored to that child. And do you find that they react a lot better when they have that environment? Because in a broad classroom, it's a whole different atmosphere for them, isn't it? It, it is. And a lot of our children, because they're struggling, um, so much with their reading skills, it affects their behavior because they're embarrassed mm -hmm. and so they might act out. So in our groups, they're with other children who are struggling and they're in that small group where everybody's kind of on the same page and our staff can pour into them not just the academics and the interventions that they need, but also those relationship skills of having that other adult that they can really bond with and trust and and that really helps them in the classroom. How important is it for parents to get involved in this whole process? What kind of help can they provide as they're helping you help their children? Well parents are critical. Kids are in school seven hours a day, okay? So that's a lot of daylight left and Many parents don't really realize that they have such an important role to play, no matter what their background is. Um, just talking to your child, engaging them in rich conversations, even when they're babies, when you're changing their diapers, singing songs to them, you know, rhyming, introducing them to letters, colors, shapes. You don't have to go to fancy preschool or anything. You can do those things at home and we do a lot of parent education out in the community to give parents those skills and empower them with things they can do. And I, I'll bet that there are many of the parents who have an aha moment when you explain some of the things to them, little things that they may not even think about that can make a huge difference in the life of their child. They do. Um, the parents of the children that we serve, you know, they have a lot of stressors because primarily we're serving families that are in, in poverty. And so there's a lot of, you know, you're trying to put food on the table and keep the lights on. Right. But we're not talking about sitting down pencil and paper with a lesson plan, mm -hmm. you know, and we're giving them, actually give them the materials. We distribute books because it's so important to have books in the home that are appropriate for the children. And we distribute books. We give them actually the supplies to do the activities that we're showing them, but they can continue doing them at home. How would you want people to get involved to help making it better, make things better? What would you suggest that they do? Well, we have wonderful volunteers that come alongside our paid staff and, and help. 
Um, that's a great way. We have weekly opportunities as well as one-time opportunities. And of course, cash is always king, right? <laughs> We're in our 10th anniversary year and uh, we have a $100,000 challenge that people can find on our website okay. that we would love for people to participate in and that will help us get to the next level of expansion and expanding our services to more kiddos. And what is your website? It's mibtx.org. And that's part to find out about the big challenge to get more money in to yes. and make a difference, to make it better yes. for the children in our community. Jackie, thank you so much thank for what you. you've done. Congratulations on the first 10 and look forward to the next 100. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well we, I look forward to the next 10. I don't know about 100 for me, but uh, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And thank you for this Newsmakers Extra.